Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and this, this is the 2022 Hyundai Elantra N with a two liter twin scroll turbocharged four cylinder under the hood, a six speed manual and very, very sticky Pilot Sport 4S tires. Is this the budget Honda Civic Type R fighter that we've all been waiting for? Stay tuned because I am actually gonna take this here on the track at Texas Motor Speedway. Starting under the hood, that is the real story with this Hyundai Elantra N. You have a two liter twin scroll turbocharged four cylinder engine making 276 horsepower and 289 pound feet of torque all going out through those front two wheels, but mated to a six speed manual transmission. This thing is gonna be so much fun on the track and I cannot wait to get it out there. Starting up front here, you can see the very aggressive styling that was given to the end model. So if you see one of these out on the road, not only do you get this in badge to tell everybody that this has been track tested, but you get a very aggressive front end with this red line on the front diffuser. Let's move around to the side and check out some of the bits that go along with it there. You get a flat black arrow up front here, and then oh, these beautiful Pilot Sport 4S tires that are very sticky and have been picking up the gravel uh, very well out here just before getting it out on the track bright red brake calipers just scream track right so uh, the red theme continues down the side here with your side sills for additional aerodynamic uh, downforce on this as well you get Hyundai's uh, tried and true I guess new design language very angular and uh, very sharp lines here on the side Moving back, you do get this arrow look back behind the rear window, and then a very functional black wing that contrasts very nicely with this, and I am not kidding, intense blue uh, is the official name of the blue on this Elantra N. Popping open the trunk, you get a very deep, uh, trunk that goes very far back there and yes because this is the inn you get additional red bracing back there behind the rear seats so this is clearly meant to go up against the likes of the Honda Civic Type R because Hyundai really pulled no punches with this vehicle you get a additional diffuser down here to help get air out from underneath and dual exhaust tips and yeah those are real exhaust tips but that's enough of the outside let's hop inside and see what it's like in there so the real story inside this particular one is the six speed manual that I've not yet taken it on the track, but I can feel like it's going to be a very good one. Very well gated. I, I like it a whole lot. The clutch has a lot of spring to it and is very easy to tell where it engages. Sitting in here, you get these suede and leather racing bucket seats with a lit in logo inset in the headrest here uh, just you know show off a little bit more that you got the track version there are some bits in here that are a little creaky and rattly but when you are buying this you are clearly buying it for the track speaking of which firing it up let's see has a typical turbo four sound under the hood and coming from the exhaust back there but you can see you get Hyundai's typical digital cockpit screen in here with their typical red and carbon fiber look on normal sport mode but when you push this in button here on the that on the steering wheel you get in mode the track mode uh, and fire and all the good stuff comes up there it's just so nice so fun to look at you get blue stitched 
steering wheel here, leather wrapped, very nicely bolstered. Controls for your driver assistance and controlling that screen up front here. Typical Hyundai infotainment. Very nice that you actually get knobs here for the AC. You get heated front seats and a rather nice interior for what is a compact sedan. I do have the window sticker right here. And unfortunately, we don't have a price as this one is spec but they, these do start in the high $30,000 range and can be specced up from there. But let's check out that rear seat before we hit the track. Sitting in the back seat of the Elantra Inn, I'm sitting behind myself at 510. I've got plenty of room, very spacious interior, but you didn't click on this video to watch me sit in the back seat. You clicked on this video to see what it is like out on the track. So let's do that. All right, gearheads, setting off. Track gear in the 2022 Hyundai Elantra in. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Eric riding with me. Uh, Y'all know him. He's done a couple videos for us here on the channel. He also does a lot of editing work. So uh, if it looks good, thank him. If it looks bad, blame me. So we are at Texas Motor Speedway. There is a road course on the infield here uh, that we will uh, be having just a little bit of fun with in this two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. Hang on, I'm gonna give you a little power boost. Boom, it's oh, yeah, AC yeah. off. So I'm currently in, uh, there are eco, normal, and sport driving modes. And then here on the dash, there's in with rev match. And- uh, Only one on the track, clear? One, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm showing you the course this time. So let's okay. see what it can do. Ooh, sticky tires. All right, cones, cones. We go around, slalom. Wow. Oh, it's got a lot more to give. Oh yeah. So it's gonna be fun on the corners in this one. Long corner. You got all kinds of room to get the apex oh you're gonna get better lines on this one for sure oh yeah oh. watch out bird <laughs> oh she's still got more to give oh found the rev limiter this is the funky corner whoa whoa not well marked sorry i do apologize eric's gonna do a much better job taking this one around but oh so much fun and this car it definitely has grip and the corners even during that little sure. emergency break yeah. and turn oh my it's goodness still oh my goodness it's <laughs> yes. crazy oh that was a fun fun little track lap so now we're going to pull off swap drivers and see what eric can do i love the clutch already yes it's like a it feels like a like a compound bow like you once you get past the two-thirds mark it just yes all the rest of the way up good feel good tight engagement are we clear all right we got the thumbs up okay oh boy all right cones cones <laughs> oh yeah oh this is the part where you scare the crap out of me isn't it Oh, good brakes, good brakes. Oh my gosh, the grip in this thing. Oh, oh my goodness, that cone. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not talking. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm trying to do as much as I can for you, but oh, this, oh, and we're out of it. I'm sweaty, son. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say a word. Thanks for doing the talking there, Corey. Yeah, so Ooh. what are your driving impressions? Putting it in. <laughs> so good. <laughs> that twin scroll turbo and the six speed manual, you could always find the right amount of power for the situation. You were never really 
wanting for more power, right? No, matter of fact, um, the rev match with it doing it for me, I'm not having to worry about coming off the clutch and unsettling the car by it jumping um, to a different RPM. It's just, tires are great, setup's great, it's tight, but it's not slinging you around. I could talk for days about this car, but it's, yeah. So, I can't even breathe right now, Corey. <laughs> very good car. <laughs> so much fun on the track. Hopefully, I can get one for longer term on our home turf. We won't get to do any fun stuff like that because we don't have a track. But uh, more stuff will be coming from here at Texas Motor Speedway. Be sure, like, subscribe, and comment down below of what you think of the 2022 Hyundai Elantra N. Is it better than a Civic Type R? We're still waiting on the new gen, so let us know down below.